So here we are. The movie has just come out. I am so curious on when you saw the movie, Hayden, last night at the red carpet in Atlanta. What were the emotions you were going through watching the film? It was a, it was a powerful experience. The, the, the whole event last night was a magical one. And uh, the reception that the film got was, was pretty extraordinary. Uh, I, I've, I've done a few of those premieres in my past and never experienced anything like it. Uh, it, was, it was really quite something. Yeah, I'm sure it's so different from Star Wars to Jumper yeah. and now from yeah. 90 Minutes in Heaven. Yeah. Every experience must be so different just watching the work and the artistry that you do. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah, no, this was a very different film for me and one that I'm very proud of. Uh, uh, I, I was very affected by the story and, and wanted to be a part of the telling and, and really believe that uh, Michael Polish, the filmmaker, has, has really made a beautiful film. Yeah, it's a brilliant film. Thanks. Absolutely yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Don, what is it like? having somebody play you? Uh, I don't have any precedent for it. I don't have any, you know, I, I do a lot of theater myself and I've played a lot of characters, some of them historical characters. But now, I'm watching someone play me and say my words and, 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 and act in a way that represents what happened to us. So it's really kind of a, a very surreal experience. Uh, I don't have any words for it. I don't, there's no precedent for it for me. Uh, but it's very moving and you know, there were times when uh, you know, the, 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 they would yell cut and I wanted to go hold Hayden because I felt so sorry for what he was having to go through. And I know that's how people must have felt for me. They just wanted to help me do something and there was very little that they could do. So it's a very deep, visceral thing for me to watch this. How emotional was that for you? Because you poured yourself into the character. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a pretty draining shoot for me. Um, and we started in the hospital too. We, we, we didn't like, you know, ramp into it. We jumped right into the deep end. And uh, the first day of filming, uh, I think, was, was when, maybe when we see the Elizarov device mm -hmm. for the first time. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was an intense experience, but, but uh, you know, uh, a, a very special one for me. And uh, I'm proud of my work in it. I'm proud of, the, <coughs> proud of the film. Should be. Don, what was your first meeting like with Hayden? Well, we met on the set. We, we actually had several conversations, uh, uh, long conversations by phone, just kind of visiting and getting to know each other. And um, um, I was, you know, in, enamored with him. Uh, obviously, he's a very famous person, has done some uh, remarkable uh, films. So, um, you know, I'm dazzled, like everyone else. Uh, but I, I, I really, um, there was a chemistry there immediately. Um, I like this man. I really do, um, and you know I hope we have a relationship uh, for, for the rest of our lives. So it's different in that respect. This is very personal, not just because he played me, but because um, I just kind of a, I just I don't know. There was a thing there, and um, we get along. We're friends. Yeah, we are, and and I, I'm I'm very blessed by that. Uh, it's a great blessing to me to not only have someone who who played me who wanted to and did a marvelous job of it. But, um, you know, I haven't bagged my lemon on friends, you know, and, um, and this is a new one. So I'm, I'm, I, I'm very blessed by that. Would you say that Don's become like a father figure, in a sense? Uh, during, during the filming, absolutely, in a big way. Um, you know, Don was my beacon. He, he was, he was uh, you know, uh, my, my mirror that I would hold my, you know, my performance up to every day. And, um, you know, he was very involved in the project from, from, you know, the preparation that I had to do to prepare for this to the actual filming of it. Uh, I couldn't have done it without him. Um, and it was, it was a real honor to get to spend the time with him, for sure. What would your hope be for the film, outside of people coming to watch it? Uh, just that they walk away with, with uh, a similar feeling that I had the first time I put down the script, which was, you know, um, I was very affected by the story, uh, uh, by, by, by the, the spiritual elements and also by the human elements and, um, and, and people caring for one another, you know, I think is a very powerful thing and really touches me. Uh, so just, I, I would hope that people walk away with a, a sense of hope and, and, a, and a sense of feeling better about things. Don, this is your life. <clears throat> is now on the big screen. Mm -hmm. What is your hope? Well, from the moment I decided to write the book, uh, which was in self-defense, uh, I wrote it so I would never have to talk about it. <laughs> that has not gone well. Uh, 
<laughs> um, but you know what? I, I tried to put something behind me and God put it in front of me. That's really what happened. I wanted to get over something that was very traumatic and difficult. And that is the thing that God has used to bless other people. If an ordinary man like me can get killed on the way to church, see heaven, and come back to a literally devastated body, and then walk in here today and walk out when I finish, that's a miracle. And uh, you want people to know that God's still in the miracle business. And that prayers are answered because people prayed and I lived. It's all about prayers and miracles and hope for a better life someday and a better life now. Thank you, gentlemen, very much. My I appreciate it.